We couldn't even get like two weeks into 2023 and all the shit is hitting the fan in WWE. My God. Of course, you start off with the new year with the massive news and Vince McMahon is coming back to WWE. I'm 77, God damn it! And I can't let this shit go. It's pathetic and I'm here for it. I love it. And the sad truth and reality is, is Vince McMahon was always going to be in the picture of WWE as long as he's alive until there's a sale because of the fact that he has about four-fifths of the voting rights currently of all WWE shares. So, talking about a guy as majority owner of the company and the overwhelming majority of the voting power, like nothing big or transformational can happen for that company without Vince's seal of approval. So it's one of those things like when he resigned last year, it's probably something we didn't talk enough about was he left. It's a massive story. Obviously the biggest wrestling story in years that Vince McMahon resigned from WWE in any way, shape or form. But you had to know, and we should have done a better job, frankly, of talking about the path back in. And you can't see a Vince McMahon truly being able to walk away from it. Like he eats, sleeps, breathes, shits, pisses WWE, not professional wrestling. And I don't even think sports entertainment. Like he just eats, sleeps, pisses, shits that company. He loves the thought of being able to oversee from his Titan Tower everything that he created. So we shouldn't be that surprised. Like even as we were getting to the end of 2022, you're starting to get some reports about Vince coming back and probably felt it was inevitable in some ways. He'll have no say-so over creative, though. <laughs> he's going to come back in a full beard, and he's going to be Mince Vic Van or some shit like that. Or he's going to be Mince Vic Dooliman or something. Like he'll, he'll figure out something, especially in honor of the Saudis, if they end up buying the WWE. Like All the reports now are indicating that Vince has come back you know, to lead negotiation rights for new TV deals, but most importantly of all, uh, to oversee the sale of the WWE to somebody else and all the rumors that have gone along with that. Who could it possibly be? Well, I guess we'll find out. Maybe sooner rather than later. But with Vince's return, you had to wonder what other shoes are going to drop. Certainly some members of the board weren't going to be happy with it. They were going to resign, and they did. But you're waiting, like, what's going to happen here? And the one thing I would keep my eye on is the leadership situation in terms of CEOs. And I want to be absolutely very clear about this. When you have two CEOs of a company, you have zero CEOs of a company. I think of a chief entertainment, chief entertainment. Well, I guess you could say in this case, chief entertainment officer, but chief executive officer, like as much as anything else, their vision. They are the ones that set the vision. They're the ones that have to be looking more in the future and looking behind other corners more than anybody else in the entire company. You can't have two people with the exact same vision. That makes no sense. That's not possible. And it's silly to think that it is. And I understand the whole co-CEO thing was a way to kind of like calm things down as Vince was going to step aside. But you had to know in some ways Eventually, something was going to have to give. Whether or not Vince McMahon came back, either Nick Khan or Stephanie was going to move up and one was going to report under the other or one of them was going to have to step aside. And oh God, did we find out what was going to happen there today, didn't we? The big, big bomb dropping that Stephanie McMahon was returning to her leave of absence and stepping down as co-CEO of WWE. And even more than that, resigning from the company entirely. Holy shit! Holy shit! Like, this is really, really damn big news. Stephanie, who has been with the company for over two decades, Stephanie, in who many ways was presumed to be like the future Linda, right? Like, she's going to be the CEO de facto. She was going to be the one... Uh, that oversaw a certain executive and like business function. She was going to be a major leader of the WWE after her dad. 
And now not only is she not that, she is gone from the company entirely. Based off of what she said, based off of the way it was worded, the, the way she, what she said, I'm going to take my leave a step further and resign. And when you say that, you're not just resigning a position, you are fucking leaving. Hence the remark about, I'm going to enjoy it from the other side of the business as a fan. And holy shit. Like, this is not accidental. This is absolutely either a master play between Vince and Stephanie where she stepped up for a period of time and the agreement was, as, as shit cooled down a little bit, Vince would just come back and then be back to business as usual or she didn't think that was going to happen, not understanding her father, totally underestimating her father, overlooking her father and his maniacal desire to have total and complete control at all times. He is a fucking autocrat as much as anything else. And being caught off guard when he came back and she said, yeah, you know what? The board has unanimously uh, voted for <laughs> Vince to be the chairman. Well, we don't, we don't want that. I don't want that. And I don't want any part of this anymore. And I want to go be a mom and I want to go raise the girls and all of that shit. Who knows? Like, could be any number of factors, could be a combination of them. But this is a really, really, really big damn deal. Because... You know, as much as you had Shane McMahon went away and then he went back and now he's gone. Now Stephanie is gone. Like, the kids are gone from the family business. A family business they had been a part of for a long, long time. A major portion of their adult lives is literally in their freaking blood. That is telling. Is it not? That says something, does it not? That's stunning, is it not? I certainly the hell think it is. Oh, Triple H will still be there. He'll be in charge of creative Willie. Willie? For how long? Oh, Vince can't take that control of creative because of SCC and blah, blah, blah. And if this company gets sold and they go pri private, all that shit goes out the window, basically. The fuck are people talking about? You're also talking about Vince McMahon. This is a man who's gotten out of a lot of shit when it comes to legal matters over his lifetime. He ain't going into this blind. He knows exactly what the fuck he's doing, whether anybody likes it or not. And now, of course, you've got the different wrestling media talking about, oh my God, if the major news may still be dropping, something could be imminent, this could be huge, this could be holy shit, and yet nobody's doing like a basic journalist thing and actually divulging and saying, um, you know, what actually happened, unconfirmed reports. Like, you know the holy shit is WWE being sold, and it might even be announced that by the time this video uploads on YouTube. I don't think that's nearly the holy shit as it is, like, it might be, like, it's, that's a big damn deal. But again, like, you should see this coming. Like, we've known this was coming with Vince coming back. But damn, Stephanie leaving the company, like, to me, that is a really big deal. Because it is a foreshadowing of, like, this shit's going to continue to change. It is a foreshadowing of as much as you think and want to believe it's going to change. It is still Vince McMahon's baby, and you're going to have to pry it away from his cold, dead hands. People are going to talk about all that Stephanie contributed to the company, and there are probably some great things she did from a PR standpoint, from a business standpoint, but some of the impact she had on creative over the years, not fucking good. So she wasn't all great, I promise you that much. So celebrate her if you want. She was a woman in position of power, and that's all fine and good, and now she's gone. So we'll see what the other big news is to drop. Probably the company got sold to the Saudis or somebody else. And then I'll be back on to do a video about that shit. Because why wait till do a video till that news drops? Might as well get this one out now. But yeah, what do you guys think about Stephanie totally leaving WWE? Like to me, it's a big shock. It's a big surprise. But if you really think about it, not as surprising as you might think.